it's Popa Natalia. Today I will show you how to prepare your doll for customizing. This step is not that complicated, but it's still very important to do everything correct to not break your doll in pieces. First you need to remove your original clothes, shoes and accessories. And then let's cut off her hair. We need to cut them really short and it will be easier to remove the rest of the hair later. It's time to remove her head. I've shown this trick already many times in my videos. I warm the head up with a hair dryer, it becomes soft and goes easily off. Many doll artists use hot water for this, but hot air seems easier and faster to me. Then I take my tweezers and simply pull off the hair from the inside of the doll head. It's actually not difficult at all, it normally takes me around 10 minutes or something to remove the rest of the hair. And the worst part of the job is that nasty sticky glue that they use to fix doll hair inside of the head. I use pure acetone and q-tips to remove doll makeup and factory paint. For doll bodies I use acetone free nail polish remover, because acetone can kinda melt plastic. You can cut off animal ears with scissors and then make the surface smooth with a knife. And a small doll life hack in the end of the video. Have you ever had such a situation when you click doll hands off to remove some clothes and now you just cannot pull them back in again because the joints are too tight? And what to do? Don't force the doll and don't break your hands in two. Here is a solution. 
You need to warm the joints up with a hair dryer just for a couple of seconds, the plastic will become softer and the problem is solved. And yes, I'm a hair dryer person, I know. So our doll is ready for a root or for making a wig. Check my next videos to learn how to do it and see you!